Welcome back. So in this video, we're going to answer a lot of frequently asked questions. So Mr. Ballard, can you tell us the first question that people always ask us about bands? Yes, this is a super important question and we have some fantastic answers for you I think you'll like. Um, well, I'm an athlete, so I have after school practices and I do this sport or that sport and I want to do band. Can I do both in middle school? And the answer is absolutely. Uh, generally speaking, band happens mostly during school and sports happen, happen mostly after school, so rarely are there conflicts. And when there is, Mr. Ballard and I both have great relationships with all the coaches. Uh, we talk with them, we work with them, and we make sure that, um, that you get where you need to be the most. Yeah, we've, we've, we've done this year after year, working out evenings with concerts and volleyball games or track meets. Um, and it always works out and people get to do both things. So yeah, it's a really good working relationship. Next question, number two. What if I can't afford an instrument? What do I do? You know, and that's something that we hear a lot. You know, I, it makes me so frustrated. I think years ago, band was only for the rich kids. I don't know if you've had that same kind of sentiment. And that's unfortunate, because they're not necessarily any cooler or worse than anybody else. Yeah, um, but Mr. Ballard and I purposefully keep instruments here for people who can't afford it. Now, if uh, you can afford it, we ask you to get your own, and we give you plenty of um, options and ways to get your own. Uh, we both work with companies that do awesome rent to own plans. Uh, so it makes it like a low monthly fee uh, that makes it really easy to pay an instrument off. And they're really flexible too, because if you switch instruments, the money goes with the new instrument. Or if you decide it's not for you and you want to stop, then the payments stop. You don't, you're not stuck still paying for an instrument you don't use anymore. Uh, what else, Mr. Ballard? So let me get this straight. I'm going to try and sum up what you just said and put it in my brain Please accurately. Do because you just shared all the good stuff. Um, if I have a school instrument, it's pretty good. It costs less, but I can never own it. Um, it's never mine, it's on a contract. And then and it during stays the summers, the During the summers, it stays here. It stays and here And then let's the say you get really into band, and you want to go to high school band, the instrument stays here, and you're left without an instrument. Exactly, then you have to figure out something when you're older to play. Um, and if you check one out from a music store, uh, with which we have, we have great relations with several music stores from which you can rent them. Um, when you get that instrument, if it's not brand new, then it's come straight out of a professional repair shop and it's in great playing shape. And you can eventually own the instrument. Um, and they also offer uh, insurance on them, which is super cheap. We're not getting paid for this. I just recommend this because you pay your however much a month to rent to own the instrument and then like five bucks extra usually-ish. Um, and they just repair it. I had somebody drop a French horn off of a top top cubby one time, crumpled the entire thing. Next week they had a new French horn to continue their rental. See, I had a similar experience with French horn. I had a kid fall on their French horn bell and flatten it. And they were able to repair it. I think it was like a $250 to $300 repair free. So yep. like the, it's $5 extra a month, or it was at that time. I don't know what it is now. Uh, but So $5 extra a month, she fell on her French horn, repaired free, which is super wow. nice. Uh, the other thing I wanted to add, um, it's left my mind all of a sudden, oh, online retailers and other stores. Uh, this is a sticking point, so we're going to say this as carefully as we can. Um, if they sell dog food or other, you know, like stereo equipment and things like that, I'm not saying they're not great stores, whether it's online or like a brick and mortar store, if they sell those things, odds are they aren't fully equipped to fully understand what you need as a band player that's just starting out. That's why we bring in specific people, uh, not because we want to charge you a bunch of money or make you pay a bunch more, but because um, we know that you're going to get a quality instrument, because some of the instruments on those online retailers are not quality. I've watched mm. them fall apart in and kids' hands. You can't repair them. That's the problem with some of these really cheap brands. They don't work out of the box. Um, and then you take them to a shop and they go, well, this can't be repaired. They don't have parts for them. And if they start messing with them, other things start breaking. Um, so it's worth figuring out the money up front or an arrangement with us to, to find you a quality instrument. Um, it's also very important to note that we do support local businesses. Um, and if you are looking independently for an instrument, if you can include us in that process, we will help interpret things for you so that you can go where you need to go to purchase an instrument. Um, because I, we support I've all businesses. Done that. 
I, I have emailed parents and they'll send me multiple links. What about this one or this one or this one? And I will help them uh, find one that works for them, that can be fixed, that can be repaired, that's going to be durable and last a long time. I have even gone into um, shops that sell instruments. I remember going into a shop one time that had a few flutes for sale. And they said, we're thinking about this. And I said, hey, can I play all your flutes? I played through and I'm like, well, the cheapest one is actually the best one. You want this one. Good for you. You got a good deal. And we'll go help you out. We'll take our time to help. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah, there will be lots of questions. Just send email those to us. Generally, wait to buy an instrument until we've contacted you about next year. That way you know the instrument you're going to play and you have any information needed about where to get one and where not to get one or answer any questions you have. Good call. Um, do not let getting a hold of an instrument stop you from doing band. Um, I, I hate when people, it just makes me so sad to hear, well, I didn't think I'd get an instrument, so I didn't do band. It'll be our job to figure this out with you. If you need one, we will make it happen. 100%. Um, so what if I join band, Mr. Wilson, and I end up not liking it? What do I do? So some people get into band and they get frustrated at the beginning. That, that's normal. It's a new thing and it's okay. Some people get in and go, nope, this isn't for me. So we will help you walk that line. Sometimes it may be try this, you know, do this differently, let's try a new instrument, we'll get you happy and then you're gonna do great. Other times if it's not for you, that's okay. What we usually ask is that you stick it out for a little while, maybe to the end of the grading period or end of the semester, uh, to make sure that you are sure it's not for you. Um, but beyond that, go take another class. It's not the end of the world. We're I've not walked gonna... kids straight to the scheduling office at West or FCS and said, hey, you know, Tim doesn't want to do band anymore. He's a great kid, but he's really interested in choir. And we get you signed up for, we take care of you to do what you want to do. Speaking of which, that's another one. Uh, Miss Young is the choir teacher at both West and East. She's amazing, and she will answer this exactly the same way. If you are interested in choir, chorus or band, she will tell you to try band first. Mm -hmm. I've had this conversation with her, with her before. Ask her, she'll say the same thing. Uh, because uh, band uh, starts in the beginning and keeps going sequentially throughout, it's best to try it first. If it's not for you, go try chorus because Miss Young is awesome. Chorus is awesome. Personally, I love singing. Well, in the high school program now has Mr. Young at the high school, and they are so good. Their last concert, back in the days of concerts, which are hopefully returning, um, was just in, uh, incredible. It just warmed my heart to see what the chorus program is doing from 6th to 12th grade now. So yeah. you can always ask us, and we'll redirect you to them if you're interested in chorus. We'll rep for them, too. Um, percussion. 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 So we're going to have a separate video on this to dig a little deeper. Uh, but if you're interested in percussion, we encourage you to ask us individually first. Um, it depends on your previous experience as well as both of us. We do slightly different things with that. Uh, so please don't think you can't play percussion because we need percussionists. We just approach it from very, very different angles. Uh, see us about that. Yeah, yeah, that's a conversation. Um, we do want to reiterate something about tubas and baritones that we meant that Mr. Wilson actually spoke about um, in the tuba and baritone respective videos. Um, in that tubas and baritones, you have a home one and a school one. At the beginning of the semester, we will provide one that you will take home. You'll have a contract on it like any other school instrument would have, saying that you're not going to light it on fire or run it over. At that point, it's We've seen your those problem. happen before, by the way. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, and that way, you just carry a mouthpiece back and forth. And you have one assigned at school so that when you're at school, you just pop that mouthpiece in and you play. Um, we keep it really simple in that respect. Yeah. Um, May you join band late? That's an interesting question. Because the best thing is just to jump into band from the beginning. Because the first semester of band leading up to that holiday concert where we're playing Jingle Bells and all that, we start off making all kinds of crazy sounds. It sounds like honk fart class for a while. Because that's what we have to do to really get those sounds, to get the breathing and everything going. And we go through all those basics. And band just builds and builds and builds on itself all the way through 12th grade if you stick with it, which you should. Um, and if you end up joining late, could you imagine joining seventh grade math after not having any sixth grade math, especially if math was brand new to you? Like, you would be in a really rough place. We have had students join late. Um, I've had one succeed in eight years of teaching yeah. band. One student has started late and continued on to high school 
and been successful. It's hard. It's so much easier to start when you first have the opportunity in sixth grade or in seventh, if you're in sixth grade right now. Um, it's so much easier to start when you have that first opportunity than come in late and have to play catch up. That is no fun. That man is correct. Um, so it's possible, but it's highly unlikely. Um, do start and say, oh, I like it, or maybe I like something else better, and then we'll take care of you then. But at least you gave it a shot, and we, we went for it. Um, so there are differences in the East and West band programs. When I say West, I also include FCS. Um, we do West and FCS together. Um, there are differences in the two programs, but a lot, all the basic stuff we agree on, we do very similarly. We talk about all this stuff. Um, but stuff like how we do percussion, little things like that, uh, will be slightly different, but we'll put out some more information about that later um, individually, I think. Um, we'll have conversations with you guys as we get closer to the school year and signing you guys up for real for classes. If you have any questions, this is by no means the end of our list. You may continue that list by emailing us, calling us. Um, don't drop out of the school yet because pandemic. Um, but from there, let us know. We are here to help you guys. Email us. That's my best way. Yeah. Because I'll hit it right in the email box, send it right back to you as fast as I can. Yeah. Have a great day, guys.